So you, you guys might have heard of Power BI. That's why you guys are here today. Um, very simply, from Microsoft, it's their uh, business analytics uh, platform. Um, now, compared to something like you know uh, spreadsheets or some of the other uh, uh, tools used by financial experts or data uh, um, analytics experts, um, this is more of a, a visual way of understanding the data that you have there and the business intelligence um, features within Power BI. And usually that's done through reports and dashboards. Um, the other thing that this is completely cloud-based, so all the processing, et cetera, is done in the cloud on Microsoft servers. Now, understanding what Power BI is all fine and dandy, but really understanding why or how you would use it is kind of the important part that I try and preach as much as possible. So Power BI, and I really always try and compare this to Excel because a lot of organizations, they sit down, they print out, like this is the old school way, and I've seen this happen before, they will print out stacks of paper, sit down around their huge meeting, uh, sorry, boardroom, and have a meeting and go through the data, the spreadsheets, right? Um, so there is a more modern way to work with this. So that's where Power BI comes in, right? You can make sense of your data using these visualizations, and I'll show you um, how we do that by going through the demo. Um, like I mentioned, it is more beautiful and more better looking <laughs> than working in spreadsheets, right? I, I know we have some uh, people who are really into uh, data. They want to look at the raw stuff. That's cool. But you cannot provide that kind of stuff to uh, an executive or someone who isn't as into data as yeah. you might be, right? Yeah, they probably want a, a higher level exactly, look right? at things. And we'll, we'll definitely show you those kind of uh, features. Um, it's very easy to collaborate and share reports, right? So I can create a report and then pass it on to my colleague. We could all be a part of the same team and look at that data. Once again, I'll show you that too as well. And Power BI, since it is cloud-based, um, I'm just going to skip down to all on the web right there because it's part of the integrations too as well. But since it is on the web, I can access this pretty much from any device. So it is device agnostic. So whether it's mobile, tablet, tablet's a great presentation uh, tool and it, uh, the Power BI charts look very beautiful on those. Nice. Uh, mobile and desktop and of course laptop too as well um, from any modern browser, right? So I don't have to download anything. I could send the link to someone and they would be able to open that, right? And going back to since it is on the web, you don't have to spend too much uh, computing power to do that. It's all done uh, on Microsoft servers. And same thing with the integrations too as well. You could integrate with uh, other uh, platforms, which we'll speak about, right? Perfect. So getting right into the demos, I have a couple of scenarios that I want to show you, right? So let's pretend. Um, the director of marketing, which actually you are in marketing, uh, the director of marketing comes to you and they, you've been doing a few campaigns, right? Mm -hmm. So the shareholders want uh, a meeting tomorrow just to see how effective these latest campaigns have been, right? Okay. And the meeting is tomorrow. Oh my goodness. Right? <laughs> so here, here's a, here's a couple of things that we, we need um, and let's call them pain points, right? Mm -hmm. um, we need to, first of all, grab data from multiple sources. Now, of course, you working in marketing, you know that you have email marketing campaigns. You have, um, we don't specifically do it, but there might be a TV campaign you're working on, a mm -hmm. newspaper, print, et cetera, website campaign too as well. Mm -hmm. So we have to gather all this information from multiple sources, right? So maybe the marketing team that we're working with um, externally, they provide maybe TV ratings or something like that to us, and then that's all in the Excel spreadsheet. Then you got to grab the website analytics from Google Analytics, something from Mailchimp too as well, right? And bring these all these reports together. Mm -hmm. Then we have to analyze that data, right? Um, you actually have to put in the work and sit down and analyze the data, go through filters and come up with some kind of recommendation beyond that, right? Mm -hmm. um, now we cannot, once again, we cannot provide a spreadsheet 
all this. We can't just throw in all not these. Not just shareholders, no. Yeah, definitely <laughs> not, right? They, they want to see PowerPoint presentations. They want to see uh, maybe a PDF, like a nice binder of uh, something more visual, right? So mm -hmm. we have to provide something that's easy to understand that isn't a, just a spreadsheet. Mm -hmm. And like I said, since it's tomorrow, <laughs> we goodness. gotta do this. We got I know that's an extreme case, but I know I've seen that, right? It's a, you gotta do it quickly. Yep. So we can work without Power BI and completely do this, but I'm gonna be probably pulling an all-nighter just to you know get this done, right? Mm -hmm. Which I definitely do not want to do. <laughs> so um, let's get into Power BI and see how we can do that. Now, I'm actually just in Office 365. You can see the Power BI logo here, um, along with my other Office 365 um, uh, applications. There is that integration. Mm -hmm. um, I know I spoke about a spreadsheet, so I'm actually gonna go into SharePoint um, very quickly. If you guys are not familiar with SharePoint, we do have previous webinars around that. Yep. Um, it's just a collaboration area from Microsoft, a really great tool when you're working with Teams. Um, I'm just going to click on documents here and I want to show you uh, the marketing report um, which I have in the marketing report, fold, report folder and it's just this regular Excel uh, spreadsheet. Um, I did actually use the filters here so I'm just gonna get rid of the filter here and I'm just gonna put all the countries. Now you can see there's tons of data here. My goodness. This is analyzing all the campaigns that we've done, right? It has the campaign name, it has the category of the product, the country, right? The region, et cetera. You guys can see all of this. Um, and it shows us the lead status, which is kind of important because, you know, um, has it been qualified? Is it currently active? Is it dead? All that kind of stuff, right? Now, once again, you cannot present this to executives, right? No one has time for this. Um, maybe someone who is really into, um, analyzing data might love doing these kind of things, but it's not re readily pr uh, presentable, right? Mm -hmm. Now, since it is in SharePoint and since it is an Excel file, we can actually bring this in to Power BI, oh, right? Perfect. So directly, we don't have to do much work to bring that in. So I'm just going to go into my workspace here. I've already brought this in here and I'm going to click on the marketing one here. So it's gonna load it up, and we are gonna go here at the bottom, the campaign analytics. So right off the bat, you can see this is totally this not is totally charts. different. <laughs> it's not spreadsheets, it's yeah. totally different. It's already got that uh, the beauty factor behind the coolness. Um, everyone wants content, content, content. Yep. They're not necessarily looking for the data portion, right? They want it to be a more readable format, right? Yep. So here I can go in and see, hey, some of my campaigns here on the right-hand side are doing well, but others aren't doing too well, right? Now, of course, here is the aspect of um, we could always improve, we could always do better, right? So we, we could find out, you know, what's going wrong, uh, which region's doing better than the other ones, and these are all interactive. So imagine instead of you doing the work, like you've already done the work in the beginning, this content is being updated every so often. Since this marketing report here is in SharePoint and people are collaborating on it, this might change tomorrow. It might even change maybe an hour before the meeting, right? Mm -hmm. So imagine the uh, the CEO or the, the director of marketing taking this live link going to the meeting and say, hey, right now at this moment, this is the uh, this is a right real time information that's coming in. Right. I can see that as being really good because you wouldn't want to be working or pulling an all nighter as you mm -hmm. said earlier. And then all of a sudden realize that one of your campaigns has made a huge jump and yeah. then you have to go and try to crunch the numbers as fast as possible and update that sheet. This is like real time and live. Yeah. So that's, right. that's awesome. I can totally see how this would be useful. 